Hello there, it's me, Roland, and welcome to this week's Power BI tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to create folders in the Fields pane within Power BI. This is a quick pro tip that you can easily replicate in your reports within two minutes. By implementing a folder structure within your report, you can significantly reduce the confusion for other report creators and report consumers, so don't underestimate this feature. It's so quick that I'm even going to skip the regular like and subscribe segment and jump straight into Power BI. So let's do it. The visual on the page doesn't really matter too much as it is only there to allow me to show this cool feature. Let's just say that we have already have a couple of measures covering totals, year to date, last year year to date, and some calculations for differences. Now all of this is great, but if our model is a bit more complex or we want to properly analyze figures, we may end up with heaps more measures. While me and other report creators who have access to the PBIX file can use the search bar on the top to filter down the fields, it's still not the best experience. To be honest, I hardly ever use this search bar. It's just not that intuitive. Additionally, if we head over to Power BI service for a second and try to personalize our main visual by swapping some column values, it is almost impossible to quickly find the fields under the measures table that we may want to drop into this column chart. You see, we have all of them jammed into this little space. It's not that user friendly. So what can we do to make the whole experience a million times better? Let's jump back to Power BI and I show you. First of all, we have to head over to the model view. And after that, let me select total sales measure. Once I have selected a measure, I can use the display folder under properties and create folder. Let's say totals. I can also multi-select measures using either shift or control buttons and put them into the same folder. So let's clean up my measures table by creating four display folders. Totals, the one that we have already created, year to date, last year year to date, and variance. And now if we head back to the report page, voila! Our measures are neatly organized under folders, making it much easier to find them. But I reckon the best part is what you will find in the service. Again, I'm trying to personalize the visual and look at that. Those folders are also visible there, guiding our users where to find which measure. I cannot even remember the first time when I saw somebody using folders within Power BI. But since then, I use them everywhere. It works not just with measures, but essentially all fields that you have in your model. Although, I must admit that I'm not fully sure why would anyone create folders in tables, especially if you follow a star schema. Then all the different dimensions or lookups would sit in their dedicated tables. If you want to learn a bit more about the star schema, check out my video on that topic, as that is the basis of a good and reliable Power BI report. I add the link to the end of this video. Otherwise, let's go and create some folders in Power BI. Thanks for tuning in today. Let me know in the comments below if you used folders before or if you plan to use them from now on. 
If you want, drop a like and subscribe to get notified when a new video is available. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya!